Well, hi guys. It's Thursday, April 22nd, 2010. And this is proof that I am bonkers. Totally crazy. I just decided to see if I could push my Q9450, uh, which is sitting on my wonderful uh, Gigabyte uh, EP45-UD3P. I decided to see if I could push the board to 500 megahertz with a quad core processor installed. Now I know the board is capable of well over 500 megahertz uh, with a dual core installed, but for some reason with a quad core it just does not want to hit that 500 megahertz mark. So I did some experimenting and found out that my uh, it's real. What's really limiting in what, what's really limiting the CPU from hitting that 500 megahertz front side bus speed is the CPU termination voltage. So I'm doing something really crazy. Uh, I must warn you, I do not recommend you do this at home, especially v VTT or as n known on uh, some boards, uh, CPU termination voltage. Uh, I have set it to 1.5 volts here. Uh, normally I do not suggest you exceed 1.4 volts for everyday use because uh, VTT above 1.4 has been known to kill uh, quad-core 45 nanometer chips. And as you can also see up here, my voltage is pushed to 1.475, my V-core. The normal V-core is 1.25. Uh, V-core is not so bad. You can push that up to around 1.5 if you have to. Uh, but it's really useless because especially quad-cores 45 nanometer chips, Q9400, Q9450, any of the Q90 something chips, uh, they don't really respond to increases in V-Core as much as they do increases in termination voltage or VTT. So, as you can see down here my MCH core has been raised to 1.3 from 1.1. Everything else is normal. ICH core I just bumped up just in case. Uh, you know, it needs that for the, because I am running a RAID setup. Let's see if it'll even boot into Windows at 4 gigahertz at these speeds. So this is 4.0 gigahertz. If this works, this will be 1.44 gigahertz above the stock speed of the chip. Cross your fingers. I have not tried this yet. I did get it to boot at 3.75 gigahertz. Some messing around, oh, it's posting at least. There's my RAID set up. And we are starting Windows. Uh, 10 bucks says it doesn't make it into Windows. We shall see. E1ST or, or EIST is turned off. All the CPU uh, thermal throttling stuff is turned off. Uh, CPU slowdown, speed step, whatever you want to call it, it's all disabled. Well, I'll be damned. Hang on, I'm trying to tap with one hand. I'm amazed it got this far. Holy crap. Let's see if I can run CPU ID. Oh, that little glitch you just saw there was uh, fraps running. Holy shit, look at that. Pardon my French. Oh my god. It actually shows the, shows the core voltage at 1.44 instead of 1. Uh, uh, 1.475, which there's a little bit of V-droop there. Look at that. It's a quad core uh, Q9450. 500 megahertz front side bus speed times 8 equals 4000 megahertz or 4 gigahertz. There's my CPU info. I'll zoom out just a little bit so you guys can see that. I'm honestly surprised it hadn't crashed yet. K9400 
cache. Didn't find my cache yet. It's my Gigabyte EP45-UD3P. I love this board. Memory is running at 500 megahertz. There was no divider that would let me run it at 533. So it's effectively underclocked just a tad. Um, it's capable of, it's 1066 memory, so it's capable of running at 533, if I could get it to. How about that? Now, you want to see it lock up? I bet you I can make it lock up, man. Let's see, we'll load a web browser. We'll play a YouTube video. How about our favorite Avatar trailer? In 1080p. Oh, it didn't lock up. That's just YouTube trying to load. That's called having a shitty DSL connection. I'd like to talk to you about a fresh start on a new world. I'm trying to volume Be down. Be making a difference. Happy damn. Alright. We'll leave that running. Let's run. Oh, I didn't want to run that. That's the services console. We'll run Intel Burn Test. That'll lock it up. There's Intel Burn Test. You guys know what this is. I've showed you this before. Based on Linpack, this is what Intel uses to stress test their CPUs before they send them out. Oh, I must have hit one. Damn, it hadn't locked up yet. Let's see if I can install. Ri oh, there it went. <laughs> Didn't take it long. Hear my high pitched noise? Oh, I can't turn the volume up. Keyboard's locked up, too. No mouse cursor. That didn't take very long, but hey, it's run it was running at 4 gigahertz. Well, because I'm not too crazy, I don't have the time to experiment with it right now. I, th I think I better back it down. Just to show you guys those settings again, though, that I was using. Uh, robust graphics booster set to turbo. Multiplier is 8, which is the highest. That's the stock multiplier and the highest you can go with the Q9450. Uh, CPU frequency, or CPU host frequency, which is the same thing as front side bus. It's 500 megahertz. 500 megahertz. I never thought I'd see that with this board and this processor. There you can see my memory is stuck at one gigahertz because of the divider I'm having to use. Or my voltages. 1.475 volts V core, which is not all that important with 45 nanometers. And 1.5 volts VTT, or CPU termination voltage. That's the dangerous one. That's the one that I pushed, and that's the one that you have to push to get high front side bus. Pretty interesting but dangerous and something I'm not willing to let run all the time so wonderful thing about gigabyte BIOSes is I will hit F11 or no I'll hit <laughs> excuse me F12 and load my safe overclock 3.55 and you'll see that I'm back down at where I need to be 444 front side bus with a divider that actually makes my memory run at the speed it's supposed to. Uh, 1.4 volts VTT and 1.3875 volts uh, CPU V core. MCH core is 1.3, ICH core is 1.2, I always bump the voltages a little and my DRAM voltage is what it's supposed to be, uh, 2.1 volts. How about that?